What's going on guys? I'm here today with something really exciting, something I've wanted for a long time. You know if you follow me for a long time, I am into 22s, all things 22 is fun. But today we got the Mac Daddy of them all, the Volkortsen Black Mamba. All right, guys, don't forget to check out Target Shooting Solutions. I want to thank them again for letting me use the facility here to shoot this video. Appreciate their support. Check those guys out. Guys, look, if you're into 22s at all and you, you follow just some 22 stuff, you should know about the Volkortsen Black Mamba. This thing is, in my mind, the best 22 pistol you can buy if you want something that is top tier, set up and ready to shoot competition. Now look, I don't shoot competition. If I did, this would be the one. Many, many years ago, uh, I tricked out a Ruger Mark III. I uh, did a build series on that and I intended on, you know, doing some competition shooting with it. It was just that nice. But then the Mark IVs came out and I was like, ah, oh, Mark III's are done. Everybody that knows anything about Rugers and Mark III's and before, they are the worst gun in the world to take apart, clean, and put back together. So, Mark IV comes in. Down the line further, Volkortsen does their thing based on the Ruger Mark IV, so it has the same takedown features as you would get on a Ruger Mark IV, so it's based on a Ruger Mark IV, but they do their thing otherwise. Take a look at all the stuff that they got going on just at a quick glance with the Black Mamba. Now I'm gonna go over a few different things and uh, something here that's not factory to the Black Mamba, something that I did. But let's talk a little bit more and let's take some shots. All right, so what I got riding on top is a Primary Arms Classic Reflex Sight, I believe. You know, it comes with the Picatinny mount, so that's just what I needed. I was really hoping I could get my hands on a Hollow Sun uh, 507 Comp, the brand new one, but they're nowhere to be found anywhere, and I'm not cool enough to get one as like a demo review. So, here we are. I didn't want to wait any longer. I got something in that I could you know, easily put on and I'd have to spend a whole bunch of money for. So let's see how it works. I mean, I've shot this already before. I've sighted this in. So let's see if it holds zero. I'm not expecting it not to, but you know, you never know with budget optics. So something else I did, if you're familiar with 22 stuff, there's a company called Tandem Cross. Tandem Cross sells a lot of 22 part upgrades for many, many platforms. And they were selling something uh, from Stripling Customs. It's their, you know, thumb rest ledge gas pedal. It's nice and wide. You got a nice purchase there for your thumb. It just slides right in with the existing uh, pins that were there. Simple, simple install. This thing now is really set up to be a nice flat shooting target pistol. And of course, coupling that with the brake, the compensator that you get on the Black Mamba. This thing is literally a tack driver. So, Guys, 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 let's take some shots. We'll talk a little bit more about it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's do this. I'm about 10 yards away. Let's see how flat she shoots. The red dot in here, it barely looked like it was jumping at all. I mean, it moved a little bit, but it, it stayed <laughs> on the bullseye, essentially. Something else that Volkorsen does, and you know, what they're known for is their trigger jobs and their trigger stuff. This thing from the factory is tuned. I mean, you can tune it yourself if you want to for a pre-travel, over-travel. Got the screws in there, you can do that to get you where you want to be as far as where your reset is, how close to the wall it is, all of that. It has to be like a two pound trigger. I mean, it's, it's barely anything. I didn't put a scale to it, but man, it just feels, feels really nice. And I'm not usually a curved trigger guy. I like a flat face trigger, uh, but their flat face, or their curved trigger here on this, it doesn't, it, to me, I like it. I could down the line put a flat face in there if I wanted to, but I'm not really sure I need to. I mean, it feels good. Let's go take a, take a look at the target. I think I had one tiny flyer there. That was me, I yanked one, but everything else, let's take a look. 
Yeah, I had one little flyer there, but look at that, guys, in the bullseye. And I wasn't really trying to do a whole lot there. I got three or four over top of each other in the bullseye, and a couple just danced around there a little bit, and I had the one flyer over there. But guys, 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 listen, listen, I'm not a professional shooter, but something like this will certainly help you out. Let's run it again. I think it's worth noting I'm just running CCI standard velocity stuff here, nothing crazy. I usually like running standard velocity just through any 22. I'm not gonna shoot at the dead bull this time. I'm gonna shoot at a different target on that little target. Shoot at maybe like the little barcode or something, see if I can keep all 10 right in that range. What else is cool real quick is, you know, you can remove this comp if you want. You can remove this thing, it comes with the tools to do that. You can throw on like a silencer or, you know, anything you wanna do. But man, I mean, even just without running the optic, you know, coming in with the target sights here and the nice fiber optic front sight, the hoe grips on there. I'm usually not a fan of finger groove uh, grips, but it's not bad. Like, you know, I could take it or leave it, but yeah, I mean, that it comes with all this out of the box, it's great. Let's run this, let's do it. Tag driver, guys, let's take a walk down. I'm not even gonna cut it, let's take a walk. I had my first shot was a flyer, it went up high. But if you can see this here, look at that. That, that. That's a pretty small target. I mean, that's like the size of a quarter. And all 10 shots are right in around it, except for that very first one up in the upper right hand corner. I'm not sure what happened there, it was just my first shot. But I mean, look, for not being you know, somebody that shoots a pistol like this all the time, I still gotta get used to, you know, the way it breaks. It's really light. I'm not used to a really light competition trigger like that. So it's something to get used to for sure. And this is only the second time I've had a chance to get it out and actually shoot it, aside from just like sighting this in that first time. So it's an adjustment. All right, what I'm gonna do this time, I kind of cleaned up the target some. I'm gonna run it again. I'm gonna take a little step further back, maybe about 12 yards or so. And I'll try to do some kind of quick, quick shots, some quick follow-up shots, and just bang them off and see how, how tight group I can keep it. But really trying to ride the reset and keeping that optic nice and flat, you know, utilizing everything I can as far as, you know, the gas pedal here and just nice grip. And let's see what happens. So let's go. I gotta work on that. I think I'm pulling the trigger a little too quick before my, my dot settles. But still, if you can see here, uh, I'm still relatively in the range. I started yanking some left. I uh, had one high, but I did have a few here right in the center. Not sure when that happened, but there's all 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And, you know, what can you do? Again, practice. If you're doing competition shooting, you know, you're not going to be rapid fire like that. Uh, but you saw just in the clip before, you know, this thing can be a tag driver. And again, I'm not a professional shooter. It's all about learning and getting better and uh, just figuring it out. So, I mean, just here today, I mean, I'm happy with this. So I'd probably say that if you found this video, you don't usually follow me for this type of content. This will be somebody like 22 Plinkster or, you know, whoever that really specializes in 22 stuff. But you really have to have an appreciation for 22s because... It is just a really fun gun to shoot, inexpensive to shoot. Yeah, this, this setup here by Volkortsen is not cheap, depending on your, you know, your value of money. It's gonna cost you over a thousand bucks. I mean, it's like $1,500. But to me, like this is the only 22 pistol that I need. Like this is the one, there's nothing else that you really need to do to it straight out of the box. I mean, I added the, the gas pedal and the optic. I mean, you don't even really need to do that if you don't want to. The capability is there for you to do it. But just straight out of the box, this is everything you would want a 22 pistol to be, especially if you're into that, the Mark IV, the easy takedown, easy cleaning. That is the major plus of them building off of that platform 
is the ease of use and takedown and cleaning up that is the Mark IV. I don't know what else to say. I think that the Mamba speaks for itself. Well, Quartzen as a brand and as a company speak for itself. They pump out quality stuff. And um, I'm so excited that I finally was able to get one of these. I've been eyeballing these things for a long time. So it's great that I can finally have it in here and enjoy it. So guys, don't forget, as always, Steve, MP5, on the Instagrams. I'll see you next time.